What's up, YouTube? M. Cole Forty here. Um, I wanted to show off the deck I played today at Locals, and I just wanted to point out to you guys that the uh, second volume of the Yu Gi Oh! Excel manga has come out. So, if you guys haven't got it, you'll get Black Corn in it. So, very easy $10 pickup, and this card is absolutely broken. So, you definitely should get it. This will help all rank fours. So, the deck I played, uh, I wanted to find a way to break my prize card. So, we built Nimble Frogs. So, I'll do the side next draft after this. Um, triple Nimble Angler. Uh, when this is pitched from the hand or deck and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon two other Nimble Monsters from your deck. And it works for a cost. So, combined with uh, Sunfish, when Sunfish is run down, it lets you shave off an Angler, special summon another one, and then special summon two more uh, Nimble Monsters as you see fit. So, it shaves off for a cost, and then special summons two more. So, and then you get one more copy of himself. So three monsters just for the price of one. It's really dumb. And then, lastly, triple Nimble Manta. Uh, Manta, when it's sent uh, from the Field of the Graveyard by Card Effect, you can special summon up to two more Nimble Mantas. So this is your Card Effect one, this is your Battle one, and this is your Cost one. Engine works really well. Um, so that's the Nimble engine. Uh, triple Dupe Frog. Uh, this card searches for my good friend Swap Frog. Now, the reason why you're playing the Swap Frog engine is because you need your basic XYZ combos. And uh, you get those through our good friend Ronan and Totem. So both the engines work together. You just spam level twos, and then you do work through the field spell, which I'll show in a few seconds. All right. As for the rest of the monsters, Triple Kaios. Uh, this card acts like a frog monarch deck. You're always going to have tributes on the board, so Kaios is always live, and it gets you out of a lot of situations. And lastly, Double Trigoidy. It's my hand trap monster. Um, this thing can come down really big or really small. Just depends on the situation. Um, here's the heart of the deck, uh, three Lemuria, um, it acts as Umi, and it also allows me to have all the water monsters I control gain level equal to the number I control. So if I have five water monsters on board, they all go up five levels, which gives me access to rank sevens. I can also go to six and five and four, so field spell's really dumb, and one terraforming to get to it. Uh, next up, triple Moria period. I kind of want to cut this down, but you have to play triple, uh, at least for the time being, it resets those really interesting hands you can get. Uh, double Salvage, uh, Infinite Swap Frog plays, that's all I can really say about that. Um, one Foolish Burial, uh, drop Angler, Special Summon two guys, it's really good. Avarice, Recycle, um, Heavy Storm, Double MST, uh, Monster Reborn, uh, Dark Hole, and then Double Econ. Um, I opted to cut down from uh, three from the initial build just to be able to play the two. I don't always have the Tree Reborn Frog, but it works. Um, I'm also not playing Exodius, like a lot of people wanted me to. Um, Exodius is, it's really meh. I mean, I can understand I can make the one Gustav Max play, but the extra deck is kind of a cluster fuck as it is. So, alright guys, well that's the main deck. Um, as for extra deck, alright. Uh, triple Gachi Gachi Gen Tetsu. Uh, this seems really eccentric. I might cut this down to two. Um, there was never a situation that I went three today, but... You know, it's there in case I need it. Uh, next up, Double Digusto Phoenix. Um, the thing with Phoenix is you need to play two. Uh, the original build I saw on uh, Dual Scrums was only playing uh, one, and I was actually very surprised by that. Uh, two lets you OTK with one Gachi, so, and it ensures dumb plays. Uh, and then one Dark Mist. Uh, Dark Mist, it's one of those cards you have to play. It lets you be bad and good at the same time, unfortunately. Um, one Maze Stroke, um, it's an indestructible monster. Uh, one Utopia, I opted to not play Utopia Ray, just because of the extra deck space. Um, I don't think I would have wanted it today, but, you know, probably in the future I'd definitely consider it. I also need to play Abyss Dweller and Gaga Got Cowboy. I really miss Abyss Dweller, especially in the Ramel matchup I had, but I still winged out of that. Um, one number 12, in playtesting I actually found out that this card is really good. Um, just because you can sit on it, they can't really push it out of the way. And it's got 2400, so... And 5 is very achievable. Um, next up, 1 Andreas. Um, this gets you out of problems, as you see fit, much like some of the cards. Um, in Sector X of Bait, it'll um, blow up 1 card, and it lets you go into 6. And then combined with X of Bait, you have Strike Bouncer. So if you go 6, as you have 4 monsters on the board, you can combo both of these up. And then from there, you can go into Gaia Charger. So... At least you'll have an X Beetle and a uh, Strike Monster on the field. And then uh, one big eye. I definitely need to get a second one in. I found out you definitely need two. 
And then the 15th card in my extra deck was uh, Dig Borzak. Uh, this card got me out of a lot of situations today, uh, just because he's got a 3200 body, and his effect doesn't target, because you don't know what you're destroying based on what your opponent knows. So the thing that Dig Borzak does is it gives me the additional uh, push of the 3200, and I can destroy up to three cards. At least his effect is always destroying one, and, you know, it kind of helps keeping your opponent's deck being shaved. So, that's the extra deck. Um, as for side deck, side deck is really bad. So, uh, one Chimera tech, double Cyber Dragon. Um, this choice was based on what my uh, cameraman was playing today. He's playing uh, Rabbit Machina, so I at least wanted to have something for him. And it's high beats. In case I play against heroes, the open Thunder King, this is an immediate out to it without having to waste an XYZ play. Uh, double Schoolmeister. Um, this was for my friend that was playing Mermails. Um, I can't exactly play Macrocosmos, and I can't exactly play Soldrin, because both of those cards will wreck my day. Um, I got lucky not playing against any of those things today, but I didn't draw this in the Mermail matchup, but you chain this directly onto uh, Dragoons. So they're not getting a search. Uh, one effect of the other. Uh, this was also a minute change. I took this down from two, just because of certain choices. I really didn't see much I needed to decide this for. Um, the one of seemed adequate to me. Um, double Soul Taker, uh, Thunder King, and Hero Outs. Um, next up, Decree for Trap Based decks. Malevolent Catastrophe for D Fissure, because your opponent has to attack directly, or has to attack eventually. Um, double Shadow Mirror for the one Dark World player that we have at Locals. And then Double Torrential. If I never play this card in the side, I always put it in the, or never plays in the main, I always put it in the side. So, alright guys, well, let me know what you guys think about this deck profile in the comments down below. I've had a lot of fun playing it. And I really just wanted a deck that I could play Dig Borzak in. Um, gadgets can do it, but not as well as any other deck. And, you know, we're going to play Nimbles. So give this video a like, guys. And don't forget, go out and get your number 50 black coin. Later, guys.